really know what else we can do about it. Oh, it looks like you've embraced the challenge. I look forward to seeing how you fare. You are. I was just telling Fukuzawa here everything. You need a poison and its antidote, you say? I suppose the easiest poison to acquire would be that of the blowfish. Very astute. Consumption Bambi damned. Everyone's snaking in a bite or two on the side. Uh, I really don't know if this is a good idea. If I make the tiniest of mistakes formulating the concoction, You'll wind up dead. That may be so, but I'm already risking my life standing up to those government goons. I've got to put it all on the line, you see me? Ah, I suppose I should get you up to speed. See, the plan is... Those officials told me they'd have me beheaded. So I thought I'd go ahead and die before they get the chance. Izuka will drop dead in front of them, then come back to life when the time is right. It's sure to work, as long as we handle the poison perfectly, I think. Let's just see them try to make their threats to a dead man! Aha! This is brilliant! Even for me! I... I thought I might try mixing a few chemicals into lime water, but... There's really no guarantee. Have faith in your abilities, Fukuzawa. Look, if you fail, I promise I won't haunt you from beyond the grave. I... Have... Let's see then. First, we need some poison from a blowfish. Think you could wrangle some up for me? There's a place nearby that'll serve blowfish if you ask. They might have some poison to spare. When you're done, just bring the poison to me. Welcome, welcome! Just you signing today? You want what? Don't tell me you're going to prepare it. Sadly, we're all out, but so is everyone else. Some samurai families from Choshu bought all the brofish in the market. I suppose the quickest way would be to ask the people who bought them if you could have one. Ah, uh, but that'll be tricky. Those folks from Choshu really like their brofish. But I won't stop you from trying. I heard they're having some sort of feast in Juniten Shrine, south of Kanai. 
Bet they want to indulge in all that brofish when nobody could see them. If all works out and you get yourself a brofish, bring it here so I can whip out something delicious. I'm a go over there! My sons! This way! for you. Thanks for the help. So you got yourself a brofish? All right then, let's make you something that'll make your taste buds dance. 
I'll just go prepare the fish. What? I, I thought you want to eat some raw fish. Uh, I can't just extract this poison and give it to you. That's far too dangerous. You're telling me you're not going to use it to kill someone. I... I suppose the fish's poison isn't that strong. All right, all right. Take it. It's yours. And take the fresh too, will you? It's bro fish after all. Can't let it go to waste. If you're done here, please take your fish and go. Hey, I know you. You're the thief that stole my blowfish. I was going to feast on that blowfish today. You're not getting a single slice. Give it back, now. Uh huh, you've prepared it with such skill. Very well, in recognition of your feet, I'll take it slightly easier on you. Did you get your hands on some blowfish poison? Very nicely done. I suppose they don't get many requests for just the poisonous parts. Mr. Igashichi is a peculiar one, isn't he? Most people would quail at the prospect of poisoning themselves. I suppose he just doesn't want the government to interfere with his inventions. But one can't help but to be impressed by how much he's willing to put at stake. If you'll excuse me, I'll get started in the back. Just a moment. Sorry for the wait. This poison here is for Mr. Igashichi, and you can hold on to the antidote. Something this dangerous? How on earth would I do that? I don't even have the courage to test it on myself. Honestly, I'd rather he called off the whole affair, but he's clearly made up his mind. He should be back in the photographic studio by now. Do go and deliver what he needs. Hi.
Ah, I was wondering when you'd next drop by. I'm glad to see you. Really? That would be great. Oh, it looks like you have quite the collection. Good work. What would you like me to work on? You will be back again. Am I right? Over here. There's something I want to discuss. Remember when I told you I wished to study in America? Well, I've looked into it, but have heard little back. But then I realized that the black ships docked in Yokohama. They must be laden with the latest books and other marvels from the West. I've made up my mind. The answer is to sneak aboard and borrow the things I need to further my education. I've given that a lot of thought. I thought I'd ask the assistance of someone who once did the same. Huh? <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> very funny. Let me introduce you to him. This is Sawamura, a ninja of Iga. I've seen you before. The Veiled Edge assassin who fought Perry aboard the Black Ship. Thanks to the fuss you kicked up, I was able to finish my mission. Wait... You infiltrated the Black Ships as well? Well, <laughs> I'm more confident than ever now there's two of you. Mr. Fukuzawa translated the documents we stole from the ship. I owe him one. It will be easy to get aboard through the hold, just like the last time. I'll make my way to the deck and secure an escape route. Sawamura has made all the necessary preparations. We can go anytime. So you will help us infiltrate the ship, won't you? I do have to make one important request. Remember, we're doing this for the sake of educating ourselves. I beg you, refrain from killing as best you can. Sawamura, over to you. Seems there are none the wiser. Let's keep moving. Never saw it coming.
details the workings of a new type of steam engine. Can't wait to pour over this. Building a steam engine of this size requires incredible technology, not to mention a tremendous amount of iron and labor. Quite a complex telescope, this. I must get Igashichi to examine it for me. He's suffering. Looks like it's already spread from his lungs. The poisoner. She knows how to cure me. <laughs> the witch. Cure tuberculosis? Do they really know how to do that in America? He's gone. Let us leave him to rest in peace. Let's go. I think this is enough of a haul. Let's go and find Samamura. Mura gone to. Pirate will, don't let them escape. An ambush. <laughs> they knew all along.
Sorry I'm late. Things got a little dicey, but mission accomplished. My deepest thanks, both of you. You've given me exactly what I want. I particularly appreciate your restraint in subduing those in your way. Aside from that last unavoidable bit of conflict, of course. Nevertheless, there is one thing in particular on my mind. I haven't been able to stop thinking about what we saw. Exactly. They've got quite the bargaining chip against the East. And I don't think it beyond them to use it. Very perceptive. I have no match for you. The sailor mentioned the poisoner who could cure him. Of course, he might well have been delirious in his final moments. But tuberculosis itself is not unlike a deadly poison. How could one use poison to cure it? There are ancient ninja arts that counter one poison's effects with another's. Perhaps tuberculosis can be suppressed the same way. Of course! The smallpox vaccine works the same way. My medical teacher developed it, you see. It uses a weakened version of the disease to protect against its full-blown form. Perhaps there's a similar treatment for tuberculosis. I wonder what other American medical advancements have we yet to learn. This only strengthens my resolve. I must go there no matter what. And I will return to Japan with a veritable treasure trove of knowledge. Even the cure for tuberculosis. I know it.